Hey guys, how's it going? Dex here for a lesson uh, for jellynote.com. So this lesson is on a basic reggae groove. And reggae music, the kind of iconic thing in drumming, is the offbeat hi-hat pattern. And that simply is, before we get into this actual groove, I want you guys to try this. So sit down at your drum kit. We're going to play this offbeat hi-hat pattern uh, on the hi-hat. So we're going to count one and two and three and four and. And that's how you count what we call eighth notes in music. And what we're going to do is we're going to tap the hi-hat every time we say and. So it's one and two and three and four and and that's what we call the offbeat so because you see we're not counting the numbers so one and two and it's the ones that are off the beat so one and two and three and four and and that's something that you'll be using a lot in reggae music so that's the kind of iconic part of the kind of reggae kind of drum groove just there and then what we're going to do is we're going to put some bass drums and some snare drums in there so and they're going to be on the numbers so if i just play the groove to start with and then i'll break it down it'll sound like this one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so you can see that hi-hats on all the ands now if i just break down exactly what's happening in that groove you've simply got a bass drum on its own a hi-hat with the right hand a snare drum with the left hand and then a hi-hat again with the right hand and that's it it's just those four notes repeated bass drum hi-hat snare drum hi-hat So you can see that's the basic groove just there, which is cool. And the great thing about it is you're only playing one thing at a time. So it's actually what we call a linear groove, where only one thing is happening at a time. And you can get that pretty quick because you can see it's only one limb at a time. So if you take any of those limbs, they're actually not moving that quick, even when you play the groove fast. So if I just play that a bit faster, so you don't get too many kind of super fast reggae songs, but a faster version of this groove would sound like this. You can see if I just take the right hand, that's not actually playing that fast. So you can see you get a very busy sound for kind of less effort in that way. So it's a pretty cool, gr cool groove for that. Uh, but for reggae music, you don't need it that quick, but I'm just demonstrating a kind of linear concept. So that's pretty cool. So that's the groove just there. Now, a couple of things you can do with that is I try and teach all my students to play this set uh, with one hand so for example trying to play it with just the right hand the reason this is useful is because if you ever drop a stick it's a kind of go-to groove which is great to use so for example if i drop my left stick gone and just play it with the right hand kick hat and then oh we can't use the left hand we'll just use the right hand to come down to the snare and then back to the hi-hat so it's bass hat snare hat and whilst you're playing that you can pick up another stick. So that's the cool thing. That, and also learn it with the other hand. Which is a great kind of coordination challenge for any of you guys that haven't seen this before. So super duper cool thing to do. And that's your reggae groove just there. And you know, try and play on the hi-hat. With the hi-hat, you can try and get that kind of trashy sound for the louder parts of reggae music. Or try and really stomp on, on the pedal to get a nice tight sound. Use the tip of your stick. Just for a little kind of tick sound which is what we want so boom or shoulder of the stick on the hi-hat to get a more aggressive sound and there you go that is a reggae groove so i've been dexed up i hope you've enjoyed this lesson i will see you guys for another lesson sometime soon and do check out jellynote.com some pretty awesome stuff on there. See you guys later.